Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. We have a special episode that uh, I recorded with Nadia and Ariana while I was visiting. So um, let's get right to it then. I will say uh, I do apologize for the audio quality. We were in, in a car the whole time. So, all right. Or, or we could do it right, right now. now. Like Daniel's already. Done. <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about. Did you record some earlier of Noah? No. You literally said you were recording. I'm, I'm and you like walking. kicked him off the podcast. Yeah. I didn't try to. Yeah, you did. No. Time to drive. Do you want to bring Noah back? Yeah, let's go to his house. Wake him up from his nap. <laughs> Be like, it's time to podcast. <laughs> Get up. Do you, you think this is the LA Fitness that Noah goes to? <laughs> doubt. I doubt yeah. it. Is there one near where he lives? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> wow, I miss Joanne. Hadn't been there in forever. Really had to hold back. There was a big pack of jars that looked really nice, and I was like, oof. <laughs> Well, Daniel and I were trying to look for some fabric for my other Halloween costume, but I could tell Daniel wasn't really into it. What? what? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hi, Daniel. No, he was being supportive. Um, I just couldn't find what I wanted, so I gave up. Um, I still have two weeks for that one, so that's okay. Worst case scenario with that one, I can really just like get it. He had uh, dinner with his mother. He tagged along, and he was kind of a trooper for that. He went wasn't, the, until he wasn't. He went to the game, he went to Monday Night Brewing, had a rager. We watched Shrek 2. Just kind of a classic week, weekend. Classic weekend with the boys. Did you forget Del Bar? We went to Del Bar, the best restaurant ever. It was freaking delicious. It was Noah's birthday, or at least we told him it was Noah's 40th, 40th. birthday. Uh, but Noah, instead of acting like a regular 40-year-old 40, 40 he is, he was acting like a little ungrateful 8-year-old child, showed up late to the dinner. About like 30 um, minutes. He completely ignored the waiter, when the waiter was like, happy birthday. <laughs> Pretty much giving us away. <laughs> um, but it was really delicious. Um, really delicious. It really was kind of his birthday, though. That was the thing. Yeah, it was close enough. It was like a week ago. Yeah, so... so. It's kind of rude of Noah. You know? Yeah. Ungrateful. So ungrateful. <laughs> we planned 
giving us a gift. Him. Free baklava. He didn't yeah. even know what baklava was. He, he thought it was a balaclava. He thought it was a balaclava. <laughs> He's like, I thought that was a scarf. <laughs> That's like Noah. And then what did we do today? Joanne. Uh, we went to <laughs> Bomb Biscuit. It actually was pretty bomb like that. Lemon pepper chicken was, was really bomb. good. Um, and then we went to the Halloween parade and I got a witchy scoop <laughs> of rocks. Oh, uh, which I was really freaking excited about. Um, and some little prints. Um, it was really hot, so we saw some of the parade, but we were really feeling it, so it's Joanne. <laughs> Sounds like Joanne is really the highlight of everyone's weekend. Yeah, I would say I'm so. I'm so glad that I decided that we should go there. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> kind of saved it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah this weekend was kind of a drag, but now that we went to Joanne, I'm Joanne. feeling so much better. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> And I know Daniel was really excited about going to Japan. I just like was secretly excited, didn't want to tell us. We felt like we didn't really want to go. So I thought I was openly asking for it. <laughs> please, Arya, please, we're going to Japan. I have a hard time not saying Joanne's. You know, I always want to say Joanne's, but there's no S. Listeners. Yeah, I guess there's not. That was a, um, what's it called? Mandela effect? Yeah. Yeah. yeah never, there's the never one. been an apostrophe S. Yep, yeah, just Joanne Fabric. <laughs> it's not Joanne's, it's just Joanne. Yeah. It, she doesn't own it. It is her. That's kind of cunt. <laughs> is this <laughs> still recording? Do you have Probably. to bleep that out? <laughs> yeah, we have to bleep that out. <laughs> Dang it. We've only gone six minutes. Okay, here. it is recording. <laughs> six like, minutes? Well, yeah. Imagine we've said all this stuff. <laughs> Shoot, we like went through the whole weekend. We did like, We still have like 50 minutes left. <laughs> oh my left. gosh. What are we going to talk about? I don't know, Daniel, you're supposed to... Uh, Normally I'm catching up with Daniel, but this whole weekend we've already caught up. <laughs> we're already yeah. I guess we should have started recording when we first saw when each we other. we first saw each other. When we were at lunch in TSRP. We can talk more about how... You know, throughout this trip, there was just like security everywhere. Like Daniel and I yeah. tried to go to West Village, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You have to tap." And I was Show like, us your "What ID. are you talking about?" Like, I went here, obviously. So I thought that was kind of rude. Um, mm. We were afraid that you know we were gonna get shot by the police if we walked into West Village, <laughs> um, but we risked it anyway. So, so brave. Yeah. Like, where did we go next? We did go to Milo's and I was like, oh my god, I've been most forever and it wasn't good. And I was like, what the heck? I remember it being like way more flavorful and juicy than this. Like I thought I liked Milo's better than Chipotle. And then I had it and I was like, this kind of sucks. Yeah, ever since they got that new logo. Mm, yeah. I don't know what what happened. Also the Jamba juice is gone. I know. That kind of sucks. Yeah. It's long gone. I should have gone to Tindrum instead. It's a rough driveway. Huh? It's a rough driveway. 
driveway. It is a rough driveway. And like I was telling you the other day, one time I dropped him off and there's these little dips, you know, to let you drive over the curb. And there's a little portion in the middle. Like a tiny, tiny median. Who does that? There's like one little driveway, one little driveway, tiny median in the middle. Why did they need that? Huh. They didn't need it. But for some reason, they thought they, they should put it yeah. so that people bust their tires. Wow. They're, they're really trying to wow. tear us down. Yeah. The world is out to get you sometimes. It really is. <laughs> and the streets of Atlanta, they are out to get you. No, they're out to get you. The physical streets. <laughs> Do you have any tissues in here? Um... Paper. Might have toilet paper in there. Actually? Yeah. For when you gotta go? Did I remove the toilet paper? Damn. It's a paper towel. I guess I don't. That's kind of tragic. What is the toilet paper for? Yeah. Um, I used to have toilet paper in there because when I first moved to Theory uh, Signature Paloma, I didn't have any toilet paper, and so someone gave me some. But then I ended up getting some. So and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll have emergency toilet paper in my car in case I ever go on a road trip and need toilet paper. Why would I need that? I don't know. So I never actually used it. It sat in my car for ages. But then I think one day I ran out of toilet paper and I said, wait, I, I have some toilet in the car. paper. <laughs> nice. what, a, what a story. Yeah. So there you go. What is in Ariana's car? For the listeners. A lot of sweaters. There, there's a lot oh, of go sweaters. And the uh, rain jacket. Yeah. And what, what is this? Uh, what is this? Um, that is from my physical therapy. That is a exercise band okay. that provides resistance so I can crab walk. Oh. Thanks. And then we also have in... I have some self-defense um, tools. And by that, I mean a Tape? wooden box... Um, that includes exacto knives. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, that'll help. <laughs> um, and I do have gorilla tape. So. You have a coat hanger. <laughs> a hanger. Um. Just in case you need to hang your jackets. Yeah, all my sweaters. So, all my sweaters happen to get left in my car because. There was a period of a couple weeks where it was hot outside, but it was cold in the office. Oh. So, um, I always wanted to make sure I never forgot a jacket. So I just started accumulating them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then I also have <laughs> some used parking passes. Nice. That won't oh. ever be needed ever again. Um, my old health insurance card that I need to throw away because I don't have it anymore. Um, and hand sanitizer, that's a must. Okay. Oh, some, some automotive glass wipes. Yep. Yeah. And some, uh... Oh, and some medical bills. No. Oh. Actually, it's not bills. They're receipts. <laughs> I paid them. <laughs> yeah, for our listeners, Ariana is up on her bills. <laughs> yeah. I'm on top of things, okay? Uh, yeah. Just not cleaning my car. What about it? That's but it. But you know what? It's like a clutter clean, you know? Like, so, a clutter mess, I mean. Well, what about, the, what about the trunk? Oh, the trunk is, trunk is quite a mess, I'm going to be honest. But, you know, no one sits back there, so, like... Well, for now. <laughs> Daniel kind of wanted to. <laughs> yeah, was... Oh, well, we could do that on the way to the airport. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, so here's the Plaza Theater. Um... <laughs> Giving it support. <laughs> in your trunk. Um, oh. Yeah, in my trunk, I have a moving dolly because... I was wondering what that was. When I move, I need to use my dolly. But it's a big dolly, and I don't really have space for it in my apartment. So it lives in my trunk. Nice. Um, 
I also have my roller skates. Hell yeah. And been roller skating lately? No. <laughs> I went with Yoel once uh, right. back at the beginning of the year. He wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's okay. We both survived. Nice. Um, I have some climbing chalk that I probably need to <laughs> remove from the car because it kind of makes a mess. And then I have climbing shoes, but I can't really climb anymore because my doctor says that that's not really okay for me with my hip. Dang. So, that sucks. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants to buy some climbing shoes. And chalk. And chalk. Um, yeah, that's, that's essentially what's in my car. So hopefully no one listening wants to like steal the stuff in my car, but if you've been listening, there's not much that's really valuable. So. That concludes the Ariana's car segment. <laughs> famous, lo regionally, locally. For the listeners, <laughs> it's in, in a, a, what used to be a Sears Roebuck <laughs> Company factory. Bless you. Oh, Jesus. You just sneeze into your hand. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What else am I supposed to do? Into your elbow. You never heard of the vampire sneeze? No, usually what? Wait, what? Oh, well, okay. I'm just, just gonna like wait and then and then grab one of my dirty shirts and oh, then just like blow my nose on it. Okay. No, no, usually I, what I, I you know, this is like have... really bad, but usually what I do is I plug my nose because if I don't, it's gonna get snot everywhere. Uh -huh. Um, so I was trying to do that, but it was too full. I mm -hmm. think I have napkins in my bag. Okay. Well, that'd be better than a old yeah, shirt. Yeah, can you get them? <laughs> it's in the trunk. <laughs> I'm just then saying you're going to use hand sanitizer. Yes, afterwards. and then I will use hand sanitizer just when I like. I just, here's my pet peeve, is that I feel like a lot of people weren't taught the vampire sneeze or the vampire cough as a kid, and I see way too many people at school going, <coughs> or, achoo. Well, I definitely, like, cough into my elbow, but when I sneeze, I just plug my nose. Mm. It's not that good. It seem healthy. It's definitely not. There's, like, a very small percent chance I could get a brain aneurysm. Oh. Um, but I've been doing that since I was 10, so. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. It's really not. I don't, but I don't know what else to do. Um, you just let it happen. You let and it then go. you get a tissue or a napkin. Yeah, but most of the time I don't have tissues or napkins around. And I have to go do things. And I'm not trying to put my s snot well, all over everyone. If you're sneezing all the time, maybe you need a little to-go packet of tissues. I really do. I'm just not great at uh, bringing it around. That. So you don't have to carry a tissue box with you. It's like how I'm supposed to, um, I also will, if I have allergies, I'll run out of those tissues really quick. Mm. So you're going to have to get, like, Amazon order that's on, uh, a scheduled order. <laughs> no, I mean, like, like, I'm going to have to carry, like, ten packs of tissues oh on me every, everywhere I go, just Maybe in case I start having allergy allergies. I do! It doesn't like work! Some, some good stuff. And then I went to the doctor, and I was like, I have daily, year-round seasonal allergies. And they're like, well, nothing we can do about that. Yeah. And I was like, what you the hell? Get surgery. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need surgery or like, I want to get allergy shots. But I have to get a primary care provider. Mm -hmm. And uh, every year I get a new, pri I, I get a primary care provider and then they leave um, MIT. Be because so, of you? Oh. Yeah, I guess so. They leave MIT? Yeah. I get a letter every year. I was like, hey, sorry, I left. Yeah. And I got a new one. One year later, hey, sorry I left. What? Where are they going? And then like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then so every year I have to like call and schedule and make an appointment and then do like a an appointment with them to meet them in order to get like any like specialist appointment. It's freaking ridiculous. Maybe this episode should be about the the um healthcare system. Yeah, the healthcare system. Yeah, freaking sucks. Yeah, well, Let's talk about healthcare. Let's talk about because, it. You know what my, my soapbox is about the healthcare system is that they make it so difficult for a normal person to know whether they've paid their bills or not, or whether how much they actually owe mm -hmm. and how much the insurance is paying. And it's very confusing. There's all these different terms 
and they just always tell you you owe this much but you may not it just might not have processed on their side that the insurance is going to cover most things so you could end up paying more than you actually need to pay for yeah so be careful out there people be careful out there no, they just they they want you to be confused and frustrated so you just pay them extra mm -hmm. It's hell if they know that they, you have to pay for it. What are you getting excited about? Why are you tapping on the Yeah, you're like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's parking, but I can't get there because of all these fucking cars. Why are they going down when there's parking right there? <laughs> How am I supposed to get to the parking? Why is no one moving? Oh my god. Because they know you want to get to that parking spot. They do. That is such a good spot. Look, there's going to be a second spot. This guy's leaving. Do you think it's valet? No, because this guy's getting no. in. I don't think so. That could have been the valet. Just try to go to the left. Oh yeah, it is. It, it, is. Got it, <laughs> it wasn't some hack. No, it wasn't. I thought everyone was dumb and I was smart. Mm. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll pause the podcast. Well, otherwise, we might be going into an area where the music will be playing and you'll uh -oh. have to... Uh, get the copyright for that music so yeah. that for the listeners is why we have to stop the podcast. yeah i can't afford to pay katie perry why is everyone for... stopping i don't know and that sucks because i want to blow my nose so bad go down to the lower part what are where they doing you're supposed to go okay that's not that hard there you go see a launcher knows how to do it oddly enough that's their name <laughs> Alondra drives an Elantra. Oh my gosh. I mean, you, you, you would have to at that point. Yeah. If your name's Alondra, you need to get a Hyundai Elantra right now. Mm -hmm. That is the car for you. Oh my gosh, now they tell you how many parking spots are there. The technology. Do you think that's accurate though? Probably not. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. I just don't really trust the parking garage systems. So there's going to be cars. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Every Do you want to get in the driver's seat? I'm just the tissue person. <laughs> well, you're not getting me a tissue right now. <laughs> so. Why don't you jump out of the moving vehicle and get Nadia some tissue? Okay, look at all these spots. Guys. Yeah. Got him. Oh, thanks. <laughs>